In last week's video, I spoke about the five key elements of your photography business. Positioning, marketing, photography, pricing, and having a diverse client base. So in that last video, I spoke about positioning uh, and why you need to control what your prospects and clients think of you. And this week, I wanna emphasize the importance of having a diverse mix of clients. Now, I know a lot of photographers uh, focus on one uh, category of photography or, or maybe one type of client. Uh, and in many ways, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, if you just do real estate photography, uh, for example, and you just get real estate clients, then that means you can focus entirely on that industry, and that's a good thing. Uh, the problem, though, uh, is what you do if things change in that industry. Uh, so, for example, uh, maybe the real estate market could go really, really quiet due to the economy or, or because there's snow on the ground and, and no one's putting uh, up any new listings or anything like that because it's, you know, winter. Uh, or maybe a, a big player uh, moves into your market uh, and they scoop up your biggest clients or uh, maybe something else happens that uh, seriously hits uh, the number of jobs that you do each week. Now, uh, there's a whole number of things that could go wrong. Uh, and if you only focus on one type of client uh, who all do the same thing in the same industry, uh, then you leave yourself vulnerable to market changes that are uh, uh, outside of your control. Uh, so what I recommend to my coaching clients is that they go for a diverse client base. Now, using our real estate photography example, uh, if you can shoot homes that are for sale, uh, then you can also shoot homes for builders. Uh, and if you can shoot residential real estate, uh, then you can also do commercial real estate, whether it's stuff for sale or, or new construction projects. Uh, you can also look at basically any industry that involves construction, uh, architecture, design, or hospitality. Okay, so here's what I mean. Um, imagine this is your client base. Uh, if you only do real estate photography and, and here's you sitting on top. Uh, that client base is one Jenga block, okay, and it's vulnerable. You take that one block away and you topple over. On the other hand, here's what it looks like when you have a diverse mix of clients. You've got lots of Jenga blocks uh, with you sitting on top. And we can take away one of those blocks and you're still surviving. Uh, we can take away uh, another block uh, and you're still there. Okay, so do you see how much stronger this second one is? Okay, so uh, not only is it stronger, but it also opens you up to so many more potential clients. Uh, so if you're in a room with a bunch of other business people uh, and you only do real estate photography, then you're looking for the real estate agents in the room. You're not looking for anyone else. Uh, but if you choose to shoot all buildings, uh, and, and open up your opportunities for who could be a potential client to include anyone in construction or design or, or retail or hospitality or a whole bunch of other industries, um, then suddenly a, a whole lot more people in that room are worth talking with. Now, this diversity in clients will also make your work far more interesting. Now, I don't know about you, but I found that it could get very monotonous uh, to be doing the same work day in, day out. Now, adding in something different, uh, such as a two-day, uh, really intense photo shoot for a hotel, uh, it brings something different to the table and forces you to reevaluate how you photograph things. And personally, uh, I always found that kind of thing invigorating. Uh, it was really helpful. Of course, what this means is that you need to look at your business and how you position that business, uh, which is what we spoke about last week. Uh, and also look at the very structure of your business. So if you want to go down this path of having a diverse client base, then you don't want to just position your business as one that caters for the real estate industry, but you want to make it very clear that you do much more than that. Uh, so to give one example, uh, what's your domain name? So if it's something like abcrealestatephotography.com, uh, then that's not going to work for you if you want to approach the top architects in your area. Uh, then there's your pricing to consider. And again, if we want to have a diverse client base, then you can't get by with your cheap little real estate photo packages. Uh, in fact, that's one of the big things I work on uh, with my coaching clients. 
Uh, it's so important uh, to have a pricing structure for builders and hotels that firstly, positions you as high end and not the cheap photographer that doesn't know what they're doing. Uh, and secondly, present that quote to those clients in a way that um, clearly communicates the benefits that you bring uh, and emphasizes the positioning element uh, that you want to focus on as well. Uh, so that's what I'm doing with the photographers I work with, uh, but that's something we'll need to talk more about um, another day. Uh, anyway, the point I want to get across today is this. There are a lot of benefits of having a diverse client base uh, in that it makes your business more resilient to changing market conditions. Uh, you open yourself up to more clients and the photography can be a lot more interesting. But you will need to structure your business and your pricing and marketing uh, the right way uh, in order to make this work as well as it possibly can. Uh, so there's a lot of work involved, but it's something that I'd encourage you to look at uh, and if you need me to help you uh, manage that transition, uh, then feel free to get in touch with me uh, and I'll see what I can do for you. Uh, this has been Daryl Stringer and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.